right, guys. So I am preparing to meal prep. Whew, meal prep. Not fun, but it must be done. It keeps us grounded and disciplined. I'm going to be using my handy dandy ninja here to cook my oatmeal and then cream of wheat. These are like my main staples for um, breakfast. I like to keep it simple. Sometimes for breakfast I'll do oatmeal, sometimes I'll do cream of wheat, sometimes I'll do yogurt bowls, smoothie bowls. Those are like my main favorite favorite for breakfast. But I'm just coming here to let you guys know, keep breakfast simple. If you eat a bowl of cereal and you throw some fruits in there, that's fine. I think for the year 2024, we kind of need to lean out of trying to be so fancy with making food because I think for me like I'm always trying to like go crazy try new recipes which is good because you want variety but overall just keep things simple you can boil eggs and have eggs with some rice crackers like you can keep food simple so in 2024 when it comes to nutrition keep it simple don't go crazy keep it simple Go crazy on the weekends, make some different meals, but during the week, don't stress yourself out because you have so much to do, so many tasks. You might be a mom, you might have a very demanding, busy job. So keep it simple so that way you are able to meet your health goals. And that's all. Because I am meal prepping, I'm meal prepping for myself, my husband, my son, all of us are eating all together. I'm going to go with the eight whoops, sorry the eight servings of oatmeal which is four cups of old-fashioned oats six cups of water and then the optional salt I usually don't put the salt um, and then with oatmeal generally I like my oatmeal to be creamy with um, milk and make it with milk as the base but when I have to make big servings I just go for water and then I add in milk to make it more creamier like that's what I do for my oatmeal and for the old-fashioned oats to be honest guys I'm not a big fan of oatmeal but I like oatmeal I guess because I don't like the oats all the time being so thick so I'm gonna blend it down in my ninja the four cups and then I'm going to cook it in the six cups of water. And it's that simple. And then you can add in a little bit of sweetener of your choice, whether it's agave, honey, just a little bit of sugar. Um, and then you can add in whatever you, milk, your preferences. If you do do dairy, you can add in dairy milk. If not, add in non-dairy. I opt for non-dairy because I don't really drink dairy milk that much but my son does but it's fine he'll still eat these but um yeah I do non-dairy milk so let's get started I'm gonna blend the oats all right this is three cups of oats and this is my last cup four cups of oats going in Alright, so I'm going to take my one cup measurement and I'm going to do six cups of water into the Ninja. I'm going to rinse this off and I'm going to pour six cups of water into my Ninja and then I'm going to show you like what I add into the water to give like the oatmeal flavor. Alright, I had to turn on the light so you can see. So basically, this is the six cups of water. And what I like to do to give my oatmeal flavor is I added in cinnamon sticks. I put uh, one tablespoon of vanilla extract because um, I can't do a teaspoon of vanilla ex extract because I need some flavor. And I see a lot of recipes call for like one teaspoon. And I'm like, uh, does that really give you fl that much flavor? And I'm like, nah, so I usually put a little bit more vanilla extract. Um, that's pure vanilla extract, by the way. And then I put a little bit of nutmeg and I put a little bit of Ceylon cinnamon powder just for more flavor. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm probably going to add in like one 
or two tablespoons of sugar and that's it on the sugar you can see I added in the sugar and then I'm going in to put my oatmeal in there I'm not turning on the fire yet because a lot of mistakes that I used to make in the past with cooking oatmeal and stuff is I would have on the fire put it in like the direction say oh let the water boil and then my oatmeal would come out like clumpy or my cream of wheat would come out clumpy and I'm like I don't like the clumpiness I like everything to be nice and smooth some people might like the clumpiness and things like that everybody has their preferences but yeah just keep that in mind as a tip like just for when you're cooking these things like don't let the water get too hot like I usually like to mix in all of my ingredients first so that way because usually you have to keep stirring and mixing until it's cooked so that's the way I just prefer to do it so I'm gonna turn on my ninja and we're gonna cook this oatmeal so as you can see the oatmeal is starting to cook I have the ninja on medium so it took a while to heat up so all I'm doing is I am mixing mixing with my little spatula from Amazon these are the silicone which are much better because they don't scratch your pots and stuff because as you can see this pot has a lot of like little scratches on it and those come from like the metal the metal um, ut metal cooking utensils so um, yeah the oatmeal is cooking and it's almost done guys and that's it we're gonna be done like pretty much with the oatmeal um, what I'm gonna do for this last step because you know I, it's already looking creamy but I'm gonna add in one cup of milk because I still want that milk creaminess as well and that's how you just keep breakfast simple and this is enough for this serving is enough for eight servings so you can have it twice out of the week or three times out of the week um, depending on how much oatmeal you're doing for your serving if you're doing like half a cup of oatmeal with your fruits and everything you're putting in it some people do one full cup as they're serving so your serving size is dependent on what you like um, if your serving size is bigger then it might run out quicker <laughs> so yeah that's the oatmeal you see and as it's doing this excuse me I'm gonna add in my milk and the oatmeal is gonna be done one cup and that's it